I, um, I don't have any topic. I'm just at this um, playground with Paul and Poppy. Um, Paul told me he felt sad and depressed today uh, about um, all in, that is involved with moving all the life change every every single thing he felt he feels exhausted by it all and it's funny because like over the weekend he was totally tcb about a lot of things and today he was like i don't even want to look at my list and i was like you got so much done we did um and i mentioned like well one I'm worried about like this house is irreplaceable like we won't get a house like this unless we move to Troutdale you know and uh, he, he kind of agreed with me that that was a, a worry <sighs> he's being really cute right now though uh, with Poppy and this other boy with like hippie curly hair but hippie curly Harris' mom was kind of a B-I-T-C-H. I should just stand so you can see them. Maybe you'll be able to see them. Can see them? There's Paul. Just hippie curly boy. Anyway, they're cute. Um, but his mom was like, he was climbing in a very normal fashion on this play structure. And she was like, are you sure you should be that high? And he was like, well, I fell off, but I'm fine, I'm fine. And she was like, I'm serious, I'm warning you. And it's like, warning what? Like, you'll chop off his limb if he falls and gets hurt? What? Like, what's your... Oh, and Paul was like talking about how he despises life here. He wants to be in Portland, but just everything involved, everything involved. Uh, you, oh my god, getting the house ready, putting it on the market, waiting to see how long it sells, getting cross country. Oh, we would fly, he says. He doesn't want to drive. Um, and, um, like, I guess getting a month-to-month -month apartment or finding a residential hotel, um, probably an apartment, house hunting, job hunting, getting Poppy in with some social scene, uh, all like while keeping me stable. And I'm worried, I'm real worried about quitting therapy, losing Dr. Allen. In fact, the other day when he was all Mr optimistic uh and like tcb he was like we could he was like we could put the house on the market in J june july because really all we have to do is fix this um pipe plumbing pipe in the kitchen for the sink replace the formica which is damaged and ugly um landscaping uh, and just, oh, and dumping stuff, getting rid of stuff, which is going to be mainly my job, like clothes and books and toys, getting that shit to Sabres, throwing it out. So he was like, we could do this in July. And I was like, I want more time than that with my therapist. Like, you know, I want to move more than anything. I totally want to move, but I feel like I've just, I keep feeling like I just started with her, but it was January, but I feel like I'm just beginning to really get her and I guess trust her. I mean, I sort of trusted her right off the bat because she came with such a stellar um, recommendation. But, um, uh, yeah, so anyway, I, I'm not ready. And then Dr. Allen, he, he's a really good psychiatrist uh, and he's empathetic, he listens, he is, well versed on the medications and uh he pays attention if i say i have 
a bad effect and he doesn't force me to just keep taking it all anything he, plus of course he's he's adorable and very sweet but I mean all the things that you want in a doctor he's got it and uh, when I was uh, in a psych something in Portland uh, I uh, I'm gonna try to kill myself in Portland. After the Carolan uh, super freak out, I mean, triggered a super freak out, I, I, I was a psychotic, psychotic break. And, um, oh my God, hi, I've been meaning to reach out, not sure if you're still homeschooling anymore. I, dot, dot, dot. It's from Alicia. I don't wanna be reached out to. Uh, she's a nice person. That just popped up. I can't deal. I cannot deal. She is nice, but and she lives in Rocky Point now. I don't want to blow her off, but I want to blow her off. I'm probably I'm a ghoster. I'm ghosting her. Can't she tell she's been ghosted? It's almost like what is this weird persistence? If if a friend treated me the way I've treated her, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't contact. Is that a little BPD-ish? I don't know. Debil to lack the ability to take a hint? Okay. Um. So, what the fuck is a yawning? <gasps> Get like this when I'm reading storybooks to Poppy. Even from that board. Even from into it. So, maybe it takes too much oxygen to talk this much or read this much. Um, where, oh, so, okay. So, I'm a psychotic brig, the clouds are talking to me, all that stuff. And I became suicidal, and I, I was, okay, anyway, I was badly off, and went to the hospital. Then after the hospital, I went to a, um, day locked ward day program thing and they had a psychiatrist there and he acted like such an asshole he's the one where I was like um, I'm, I'm like seeing things out of the like, corner of my eyes that are disturbing and he was like have you ever heard of peripheral vision and I was like yes I have okay this, he has nothing to do with this he actually is not part of the story. He was just an unpleasant. He was a shitty doctor. And um, whereas, he, actually, here in New York, when I did a similar program, the doctor in a similar uh, position of getting people stabilized on meds that are not uh, inpatient, he was like an angel. He's the one that talked me into going on lithium. But anyway. So anyway, I'm in Oregon, I'm in that program, and I keep hearing people say of the psychiatrist shortage in Portland. And is that true? I don't know. Is that still true? Um, and why is it true? I Googled recently why are there shortages of, uh, of psychiatrists, and a lot of it is liability. Like, your, pa your, pa your patients that could commit suicide, um, there's a lot of stigma against uh, mental illness and psychotropic medications. So it's really hard to get um, patients to comply. I never complied until the last two years. Um, so it's just like nobody wants to deal with that. So there are shortages. And I think maybe even someone told me on Long Island there was a shortage. Some, someone along the way. And then I found out about Stony Brook, and it was a three-month wait, um, which makes me think, like, hmm, I wonder what the deal is like. OHSU would have a similar. I, I gotta find out about that. And and like, say, Dr. Allen could write me a three or six-month um, batch of prescriptions to, to for me to survive on until I get set up. But he's not gonna be able to write me that much clonopin. Like right now, he could only. Well, he's got me on seventy-five a month, which is. Uh, it says that I am to take three a day. He tried to make it be two a day, one PRN, but they would. My insurance wouldn't accept it, so he had to make it 
take three a day, but really it's take two a day, and the third one is a PRN, which I do not abuse. Um, but uh, um, yeah, um, I have to talk to him about that. So, oh, so Paul and I, so he was like June, July, and I was like, I can't, I can't do it that soon. On the other hand, I want to do it soon enough so that the weather is nice and uh, like for showing the house and uh, like that kind of optimal time. Um, and to take, we need to take, we need to get the landscaper in and take really nice pictures soon. Um, and he was like, but spring, I don't know, spring or summer, whatever, when it's green and nice. Um, blah 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 he was I was like I was like I guess like I could do it in August I'd be ready in August to just put it up for sale and he got, he was like yeah he's like okay August like good good compromise um, I only suggested August because I didn't want to be trying to sell a house in the I mean early fall is okay but what if it takes a while and goes into winter and um, so like that was um, it was it was my compromise but it's it's not what I want to do I don't want to oh god I want to get the fuck out too I want to get the fuck out therapy the home medication oh my god well, I really like Danielle I like Dr. Allen OHSU. And can, like, I wonder, can Dr. Allen write, like, a letter of recommendation to a psychiatrist? Like, um, uh, this is Allison and her diagnosis and the progress that she's made over the past year. And, um, this, these medications, uh, work really well for her, um, and have for quite a while. Uh, um, like, some, some kind of, like, supportive official something another professional would take seriously is that done do, do doctors do that i'll ask him i'm not afraid to ask him that uh he will not make me feel like a moron if the answer is no no one's ever heard of that that's like totally something you just made up in your head um that's why I love him. Uh, yeah, so um, I think Paul's less depressed than he was in the morning. Uh, going outside with Poppy at least cheers him up. I kind of feel bad that I'm not all up in there playing, but I usually am not up in there playing, and I have my period, and I feel like a limp rag doll. Is this worth sending? Do you enjoy me just? saying my thoughts or do you like the more high drama like you know I don't know problems with Nancy or my sister or whatever um, um, that kind of thing I, I don't know I'm just sitting here on this bench I didn't f feel like going on the internet or whatever oh I did a scathing uh, comment it's, it's a little over wordy not a scathing it was scathing um, but then I kind of backpedal a little bit because she has endometriosis and I feel bad because she's recovering from surgery. But Lena Dunham, like, did this, I was like, you're humble bragging and brag pleading at the same time and your pajamas are unaffordable because she was like, she's recently had surgery and she's holding a mug of tea, it's beautifully lit photo where she looks like, I would say, in the Hamptons and it's like, love, you have to just look at it. Because I don't have time to describe it, but just do you follow her? Maybe you'll see my comment. Maybe she'll delete it. Maybe it'll be buried in other, uh, better buried in other comments. You know, she gets a couple of thousand comments. So, okay, I'm gonna go. I love you. Bye.